title. The 22-year-old chart topper is in town to promote two summer concerts at Wembley Arena. This is the moment hundreds of hysterical fans have been waiting for, the chance to catch a glimpse of the wickedest rapper of them all, 22-year-old Vanilla Ice. This is the man Madonna sends flowers to and who's guaranteed to make any self-respecting teeny bopper go weak at the knees. His style is just so original. Yeah, Brad, he is good, his music is bad, everything about him is yeah. weird. You're the best, Vanilla. Vanilla's in London to announce the dates for his Wembley concerts in June. He says he doesn't mind Ice Mania one little bit. You know, I love my fans. I love them. A lot of act, you know, there's a lot of stars that get all big headed and stuff and they diss their fans, you know, and they you know, like get away from them, you know, you ain't nothing. And they forget. They, they don't understand that that's who made them. <laughs> I don't forget that. And Mr. Ice has this message about his concert for young ladies in the Thames region. Uh, it's going to be to the extreme, definitely. Do not miss it. <laughs> That's all i got to say. Hasn't played since a domestic stabbing incident five weeks ago. Stewart has been out of first-team action for over two years with a serious knee injury. Now, this year... Yeah. I've seen that now. Imagine that. Let me talk about the hair, because this <clears> is called the beak, I believe. Is that right? The yeah. beak with the streak. Well, you know, the beak is kind of down now. Uh, <laughs> is that jet lag, is it? No, uh, well, it's not jet lag. I, actually, I got burnt last week. I was on vacation. I was yeah. in Miami, and I was out on a boat, and I got burnt, and <laughs> this side of my forehead is peeling right now, man, no. so I had to pull my hair down. Well, it looks beautiful all the same, despite... <laughs> we wouldn't have known it was wilting if you hadn't have told us. Yep, yep. But you do that yourself, I believe, is that right? You do yeah. all the, the details in the back yeah, as well? Yeah, I cut the lines out because I'm getting ready for a movie I'm about to shoot. You're going to do a new movie? Yeah, start uh, uh, Tuesday. And Next what's, Tuesday. Uh, and and this, is this the one I've heard rumoured that you're going to be starring with Paula Abdul, is that right? Uh, she, she might be the leading lady, but uh, it's not said yet. She's it's not a big enough not name, really, yet. to be with, with you in that. I She's a big enough name. <laughs> but you've just been... There's one just come out in the States that you know already, the, the new Turtle movie. Right, yeah. Now, I haven't seen... Which one do you play in this film? Because I haven't... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, no. Myself, <laughs> no, you're just rapping in it, is that right? Yeah, I didn't do uh, any acting in it. I was supposed to do some acting, but I was on, on tour with MC Hammer at the time, and yeah. uh, I, had, I had only had eight days to do what I had to do, and, and we got yeah. the song in there, the ninja rap. It's great. It's doing great. Now, now if we move from the film, because you, you're quite a controversial figure. As I hinted at the introduction there, there's a lot of uh, rumours about you. Some people suggest that you've been, I guess, the phrase be economical with the truth. Um, concerning your past life, because there's these stories... Don't believe the hype. So what should we believe then? <laughs> Is it true that you, you come from a, a fairly rough part of Miami, you're involved in uh, some gang troubles out there? Yes, or is it, it is. The, the nice guy who was the cheerleader who collected uh, Smurfs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. Which, because you don't look like... Well, that was in the papers. You don't look like... You, you look like... You look to me like the former. You look like the guy who has had the past. You look to me as though you have come up. Yeah, well, you know... You can't believe everything you see. You, you, you know, uh, don't believe the hype. Uh, the media, they like, there's some jealous people out there or whatever. I don't know what it is. Mm. Uh, you know, they don't like the fact that I'm doing good or something. I don't know what it is. I'm just, you know, I, went, I, went out, I was out to get mine, and that's yeah. all there is to it, you know. And uh, there's people that don't like that fact, and, you know, therefore they want to write bad stuff about me. I don't know why. Uh, I'm from the streets, and, and it, if you can't see it, then you're blind as a bat because, you know, I mean, I do, I, I dance, I beatbox, you know, the stuff with the mouth, I do, nice. I, I, I produce, <laughs> I do all the stuff, you know. But yeah, uh, and the album has sold, it's, uh, I think, is it true it's the most successful rap album ever? Yeah, it is. How many, now, when I was reading some stuff like it was five million copies, is that, is it more now, is it sold more it's now? It's 10.5. 10.5 million copies? Yeah, yeah. Blimey. <laughs> Couldn't lend us a tenner, could you, for the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, how do other rap artists see you? Because you are, I guess, you know, I know we had the Beastie Boys, the new kids on the block kind of rap. I don't know whether they, that's considered rap or... No, it's maybe not. I just misheard someone, no, I don't know. Not. But you are <laughs> the, the biggest white rap artist we've ever had. What do the, the black rap artists think of you? Do they, do they regard you seriously? Do they like your work, do you know? Well, they, as in general, I don't know about they. Certain, of, certain, you know, certain ones do, certain, I'm sure, don't. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, reverse racist rappers out there that don't like the fact that I'm doing well, you know, because as a black rapper, they couldn't get as far as a white rapper did. And that is really a true fact, yeah. even though I didn't have anything to do with it, you know. You can't blame it on me. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I mean, I'm doing my thing. I'm, you know, I'm from the streets. Rap music is from the streets. 
Rap music is also black. I'm not taking anything mm -hmm. from anybody. Um, I realize this. And it's just a street form of music. And, you know, music in general is about expression. And yeah. that's the way I express myself. Would you, would you consider street to be one of your favorite words? What's, what's my favorite word? <laughs> street is a word you use a hell of a lot, I know. That's, uh, that's, that's the top of your list there. Right. But that's well, where you're from, so that's why that's you would use I'm it That's where I'm from. I mean, you know, and I'm not well, proud of Let me of ask you about stuff. MC Hammer, because MC Hammer was the big story recently, because you were supporting him on tour, and then suddenly your album knocked him off the top slot. Right. Is that right? And then there was this kind of bust up, apparently, uh, whether it's true or whether it was uh, badly reported again, where you fell out. Uh, is that patched up now, or did that never happen? It never happened. It's another one of those don't believe the hype deals. I'm telling you, man, it's just, you know, they write whatever they want to write in the mm. newspapers and stuff. And, you know, I can't help it if, you know, certain people don't like me. I got 11 million fans that do. Yeah. Well, 10.5. <laughs> <laughs> going huh? on there. And the other five who taped it, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but MC Hammer, would you agree with me that, would you agree with me, would you agree with me that those pants he wears, uh, you're making your own jokes up this evening, aren't you? I don't know what you <laughs> Would you agree that those pants he wears are just ridiculous? That's his style, man. I yeah. don't know. I'm not going to say anything about it. He's, he's cool, man. That's not what I would consider a street style. It doesn't matter what it is. No. It's working. No. <laughs> now, you are, as I said, you're incredibly busy. You've just come over, you've finished, the, you've been doing the movie, you've got another movie coming up. Presumably, you've been promoting the new single in the States as well as a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you travel a lot? I mean, do you get to see, when you, when you come places, do you actually get to see any of Europe when you're over oh, here? Do you no. like it? No, I don't see any of it. I see a hotel room and and this and the next thing. <laughs> well, that is a, a depressing picture you painted. Not really. It's, I like it. You know, it's the price you got to pay. It's, yeah. it's the business. You got to, you know, you either like it or you don't. You People got a very... who don't tend to fall down a lot faster. <laughs> I like it. It's part of it, you know. That is a very uh, realistic attitude. You don't meet many kind of guys because you are at the beginning of your career, basically. I mean, this is the, you've only been famous for a short while now. Right. D where do you get that from? Is that something that you've acquired or do you have a, a mentor, someone who guides you? What's that? Well, a kind of uh, a guru, someone who will actually say to you... A uh, guru? <laughs> a what? We used to collect them here. They're like Smurfs. They're small... Uh, <laughs> you have someone who... I don't know anything about it. it. Oh, okay. And is that... Let me just ask you one final thing. That jewelry you went, is that, um, is that all real gold and stuff? No, man, it's Cracker Jack. Man, I got this out of Cracker Jack <laughs> prizes, you know? <laughs> no, really, is it? Is it fake jewelry or the real stuff? Oh, man, it's real. <laughs> So, approximately how much... Why would I wear some fake jewellery, man? Well, yeah, I, hey, this is fake, you know, nothing to be ashamed of. OK. Well, it's out of a Christmas cracker, it's very nice. OK. I just, so that must be worth a lot of money, I would have thought. Would that be right? Yeah, I guess. It was gifts. People give, you know, gifts, they were gifts. Well, that's a, well, a very lucky boy. <laughs> Thanks for coming, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Continue yeah. success. Thank you. And good luck with a single over here. Yeah, Vanilla yeah. Ice, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you can stay here for the music if you want. OK, thanks to all my other guests this evening. It's always Cosmic Wilson, and I said we might have some more later. Here they are, the Sing Us Out, the Persuasions with People Get Ready. See you Friday. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Four.